السلام عليكم واسعد الله اوقاتكم سنه 1887 تاسس اول مسجد في بريطانيا انجلترا في مدينه ليفربول على يد رجل بريطاني اعتنى الدين الاسلامي ويليام هنري كويليام محامي من مدينه ليفربول البريطانيه اعتنى الاسلام بعد ما زار المغرب وتعرف على الدين الاسلامي وغير اسمه اصبح اسمه عبد الله كويليام الحديث عن عبد الله كويليام راح يكون مقسم لحلقتين الحلقه الاولى واللي هي حتكون مع الاخ مؤمن خان وهو المسؤول عن المركز وراح يخبركم باللغه الانجليزيه الحلقه الثانيه راح تكون باللغه العربيه اللي راح اغمق انا فيها شوي بيلي عرفته عن عبد الله كويليام شيخ الاسلام راح اترككم هلا مع الاخ مؤمن خان وخلي هو يحكي لكم بالانجليزي عن المركز Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, viewers, my name is Mumin Khan. I'm the chief executive of Britain's first mosque, the Abdullah Quilliam Masjid in Liverpool, UK. This is the first mosque in Britain which was founded by Sheikh Abdullah Quilliam, an Englishman who became Muslim after visiting Morocco in 1887. And in 1889, on 25th of December, on Christmas Day, he opened the very first masjid where I'm standing. At the time of opening, he only had few people who reverted to Islam. And during the 20 years of his time, while he was running the organization, 650 enlightened people embraced Islam, mashallah. And in 1908. He went on an extended visit to Morocco and Turkey, and he didn't come back for two years. And the building was sold by the family to the council. So after 1908, there was no prayer here in the Abdullah Kila Masjid, and it was closed for 106 years until we reopened it with everyone's support from the community in June 2014. Once we took over the building, we had to restore the building as it was in the time of Abdullah Kuliyam, and we spent more than nearly two million pounds in restoring the old heritage building. By the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, we're able to pray five daily prayers, we're able to do the Juma prayer, we're able to do the Islamic uh, classes and other community activities. When Abdullah Kuliyam made this into a masjid, he also housed 200 orphan boys who were boarding here, living here, fed by Abdullah Kuliyam, educated by Abdullah Kuliyam, and he also had a day school for 300 girls who were coming to learn math, English, science, as well as the etiquette of Islam. And he opened the door in the evening to the poor people. Of five to six hundred people on a daily basis to have some hot food. Abdullah Kuliyam was a solicitor by profession, a lawyer. He was quite wealthy, and he spent all his wealth in the path of the, in the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he did a very good job of that. Sultan Abdul Hamid II, the Ottoman Khalifa, gave him the title of Sheikh Al Islam. Of British Isles, that's the whole of the United Kingdom, and no one else ever got that title since then. If you like to come and visit Britain's first mosque, you are more than welcome to come and visit us and see the Victorian Islam here in Liverpool. It's a wonderful experience for people who do come, and we all, as Muslims. Need to come and see the heritage of Islam in Britain and Victorian times. Inshallah, we will be converting the building into a visitor centre where we will have a museum of Islamic Victorian and as well as other Islamic artifacts in the building, so our children can see who became Muslims in Britain and also the history of Islam globally. So inshallah we hope we get your support if you like to visit us please go to our website 
www.abdullahkulliam.org and give us a call and arrange a visit. Jazakumullah Khairan for listening to me and I hope to see you here in Britain's first mosque. Assalamu alaikum. للحلقة الثانية باللغة العربية أتمنى لكم أطيب الأوقات سلام عليكم